right, guys, let's see how we can install Laravel under uh, Windows 10 and uh, we'll be dealing with uh, the master branch currently pointing to the sixth version of Laravel. We'll be using Windows subsystem for Linux. Very quickly, we will just type Ubuntu here. If you haven't installed it, uh, just go to the application store and install it from there. We'll be using Ubuntu 18.04, the latest one uh, version uh, for running our commands. All right, uh, we are inside of the Ubuntu. Before this, please uh, check whether you're using uh, the second version of the subsystem for Linux. So you enter PowerShell as administrator. And uh, in order to use this latest uh, version of VWSL, uh, we'll just uh, list what kind of uh, Ubuntu versions we have installed here. So we'll type VSL minus L and we'll use VSL and then uh, set a default and then we'll use Ubuntu 18.04. So we'll type Ubuntu 18.04 and then we we'll use the second version of the VSL or the latest uh, Windows subsystem for Linux. And uh, that's pretty much afterwards you should be set up to a way faster experience with the Windows subsystem for Linux. Okay, we are inside of the here terminal. And the first thing is to type sudo apt update and sudo apt dist upgrade. This will update our current packages residing in the subsystem. Afterwards, it's time to install Composer. With the Composer, we'll install the Laravel uh, package. We can type sudo apt install composer. And we see that together with the composer will be installed PHP CLI. All right, so we'll continue with the installation. And now the packages will be fetched and configured for us. All right, the composer is installed. All right, since we have installed PHP, Let's continue with the installation of Laravel. So from the website, uh, from the documentation, we see that we have a lot of PHP extensions which are uh, required. So let's uh, use the composer to run the default installation of Laravel. And one by one, we'll include uh, those extensions. Let's first type composer and we see that it works. So the path is correct. So now Composer require a Laravel installer. So basically we are installing uh, the Laravel package through uh, the Composer. And we see that uh, we are requiring uh, this extension uh, zip, uh, which is uh, missing. So now uh, we'll install it. All right, so we'll type sudo apt install php uh, zip. So this will install the extension for us and we'll integrate it into our uh, PHP interpreter. And afterwards, we'll again run our composer installation for the next extension to install. Okay, let's see what else our installer requires. So far, the installer is downloading the required packages for uh, Laravel. We see certain suggestions for installing uh, more libraries, but for now the Laravel installer should be ready. So we'll go back to the documentation and we can try to issue uh, this command Laravel new block, which will use the installer uh, CLI uh, to create our uh, project. Let's uh, see whether we'll be able to uh, use the Laravel command. We see a Laravel command is not found and uh, we should correct our uh, path. If we go to the directory config, uh, we see inside we have a directory uh, composer. Let's go inside of this directory. All right, so here we see a vendor directory we can enter. And we see our basically Laravel, uh, Symfony and other providers. So inside uh, we can uh, run those binaries. As you can see, we run the Laravel uh, installer from here. Now the next thing, to do is uh, uh, to set our path 
uh, to be the same as this directory because inside there is our installer so we can run from any place um, the Laravel um, CLI. Uh, for this uh, we'll be exporting our path and we'll be setting it to our uh, home directory so it's home Nevian and then to the config directory composer vendor and bin where are actually in this directory uh, the other uh, executables as well as the Laravel uh, CLI. So this will be adding to our uh, path. Uh, so we are not rewriting the path, but we'll be adding it. Uh, when we go to the home directory uh, where uh, our project uh, will be, we can uh, run the Laravel CLI and we see this time it works. Now let's uh, try to use the Laravel a new um, CLI command uh, in order to scaffold our uh, first project. Uh, so we'll type Laravel uh, new uh, block and we'll wait uh, for the application to complete. We see some uh, errors so let's uh, try to correct them. Um, we see that uh, we are missing uh, MB string as well as the DOM extensions so we'll install them. All right, so we we'll type sudo apt install uh, php mb string and php uh, xml where the DOM uh, extension is also contained. This will also configure our php to use those extensions. And now we can issue again one of our new block and uh, to see whether we can uh, scaffold successfully our first application. We see that uh, the directory already exists so we'll remove uh, the directory block together with uh, its uh, subfolders and let's run again the installer we see that uh, composer is uh, grabbing all the needed packages uh, for the scaffolding of the Laravel application and now our application is uh, ready Actually, we can use the uh, built-in uh, web server in order uh, to see the result. So we can use the command php artisan serve. So type php artisan serve. But this we should be uh, done inside of our um, directory of our project. We enter inside and we type php artisan serve. And on the local host on port 8000, we should be able to browse our project. So we change the port and we see our uh, Laravel sample application is running correctly. Well, now we'll stop the live development server by pressing Ctrl C and we'll run Visual Studio Code inside of this directory. So we'll type code and then dot. Uh, so to be able uh, to um, edit uh, the source code files. As you can see, this is the pro structure of the project. On the left, you can see uh, the directories. We'll go um, inside of uh, resources, views, and we'll open up the welcome blade. This is actually the initial page of uh, Laravel we can uh, change uh, some things inside of the title of this page. Let's say we'll change the title as Laravel under WSL2. We save the file and from here we can issue actually the integrated terminal. And from this terminal, again, we can start our interrupted uh, server. So we can type uh, PHP artisan serve. And this will start our development server. Now back, uh, if we go to our browser, we should be able to see the changes when we refresh the page. All right, guys, that's how you can set up Laravel under Windows subsystem for uh, Linux uh, version 2. So if you enjoyed the information, you can subscribe to the channel.